Well, some call it Viagra for the brain, the ultimate pill for a 24-7 society. And it almost sounds too good to be true. A prescription medication that keeps you focused and awake for days at a time without the jitters of caffeine, with no crash, no serious side effects, at least none they've discovered yet. It is called Provigil. And although it was created to treat sleep disorders, off-label use has skyrocketed. And ABC's Dan Harris shows us why. They say that we can only access 20% of our brain. This lets you access all of it. The idea is so tantalizing they made a movie about it. In Limitless, Bradley Cooper plays a down-and-out writer who starts taking a new drug and poof. A tablet a day and I was limitless. This notion of better living through chemistry. What's your secret? Medication. It may seem utterly fantastical. But not so, says Dave Asprey, a successful executive. He often gets up at 4.45, pops a pill, prepares breakfast for his two children. There you go. Then gallops into his high pressure job as vice president of a billion dollar internet security firm. This can be the difference between I'm just making it through the day to I had like the best day of my life. The drug is called Provigil. It's only approved for narcolepsy, sleep apnea, or for people who work irregular hours. But many people are now taking it for an off-label use to boost energy and focus. The drug, which has been nicknamed Viagra for the brain, is quietly being used by military pilots, pro athletes, pro poker players, and maybe by the man or woman who's kicking your butt at the office. On the internet, there are hundreds of sites evangelizing for Provigil, explaining how to get your doctor to prescribe it to you, or how to get it without a prescription. In fact, there is literally one site called buyprovigilwithoutprescription.com. We found a whole secret society of the successful using Provigil to get ahead. The lobbyist who gets up at 5 a.m. for two full workouts before work. I could not do this without the Provigil. It wouldn't be the same. From what you're saying, it sounds like it's hard to overstate the impact that this has had on your life. It's amazing. I just don't get it why more people don't know about it. The computer programmer who can now write code for 12 hours at a time. It helps you focus up for exceptionally long periods of time. And the brain researcher finding connections nobody else is seeing. It's just a clear day. The fog isn't there. Turns out they are sisters, but the brain researcher can't get a prescription. So the two women have established their own little black market. How often do you send her pills? Well, um, the poor thing. She tries to use it very sparingly so that I don't have to send her as much. But she says, too, that you know she couldn't live without it. We call it the miracle drug. Dave Asprey, so, one of the few people time. willing to go public with his provisional tires, use, says he once flew 20 hours to Australia with almost no sleep got off the plane, took a provigil, and delivered a series of speeches that were so good they made the local papers. It worked. Recently, a reporter for Current TV took provigil. Down the hatch. Jeez. And 24 hours later, with no sleep, he was intently assembling furniture at 3 in the morning. However, remember, this drug is not approved simply as an energy booster for otherwise healthy people. A few years ago, in fact, the maker of this drug got slapped with a warning letter by federal authorities for marketing the drug for off-label uses. Now, Teva Pharmaceuticals says Provigil is not approved for and we do not recommend Provigil for cognitive enhancement. We called doctors all over the country to ask them, is there a downside to Provigil? And they told us there are rare cases of people developing a life-threatening rash, but the truth is most people do not suffer any side effects. There is, however, one big fear, and it is what we don't know. There have been no studies of the long-term effects of Provigil on people like Dave Asprey. So why put yourself at undue risk when you could simply get more sleep and engage in habits that are conducive for good sleep? Still, the believers are determined to take Provigil, even if it means they're making themselves into human guinea pigs. Okay, we're going to have to start over. Dave Asprey Just agrees it's a miracle um, drug. As a kind of experiment, we asked Dave to stop taking the drug for three days and undergo cognitive tests to measure his concentration and reaction time. During this whole 72-hour period, he said he just felt off. I've noticed that my speech is very slightly altered. After three days, I watched as he popped a provigil. All right, so I guess let's do it. Let's see.
It took only 17 minutes for him to snap back. The world suddenly seemed brighter, he said. Dave compared it to the scene in The Wizard of Oz where it goes from black and white to color. And remember those cognitive tests? Even we could see it on the screen, a pronounced improvement over the day before. He says even if it were to turn out that Provigil could shorten his life, so be it. I would like to really live during those years when I'm alive. Provigil helps me do that. A little pill posing a provocative question. In a modern world where everybody wants an edge, how far are you willing to go? For Nightline, this is Dan Harris in New York.